in the field of science and its huge mysteries, the subject of what existed previously to the gigantic explosion has sparked mixed conversations and fascinated thinkers for quite some time. This enormous question doesn't just test how we could decode the universe, it also poses a challenge to the actual boundaries of human knowledge. Imagine yourself at the brink of existence, observing the immense unknown, pondering the contents that existed before our universe was imagined. The Big Bang, which established the beginning of all things, including time and space, raises a fundamental question. Was there a second before? In the past, this might have been described as a state of nothingness, a calm before the cosmic gathering started. And if this is accurate, was it really nothing? Or perhaps there was something far more frightening that existed before the beginning of time. As we dive deeper into this question, we're taken on a journey beyond what science can currently explain. Back to the point of origin of the universe and into thoughts that make us think differently. Physicist Brian Cox, well known for his examination of the marvels of the universe, suggests that surprise elements may have existed prior to the massive explosion. He invites us to reconsider our perception of the world and existence. In this exploration we'll dissect the science, the speculation, and the stunning insider information that could help us figure out what happened before everything else. We'll explore concepts like self-centered progress, quantum alterations, dark energy, and multiverses. The responses may leave you paralyzed, but they might also open new understandings of our position in the universe. Get ready to dive deep into a world beyond our wildest dreams, where science and mystery intertwine and the obscure still winds through the shadows, leaving even scientists shocked and at times unsettled. We ought to explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories test everything we thought we knew. To consider what might have been before the Big Bang, we must first painstakingly analyze what the Big Bang actually was. According to scientists, the Big Bang is defined as the point in time when the universe became extremely dense and hot, rapidly expanding to cause the development of all matter, energy and space. When we look at the night sky we see proof of this hot beginning, the expansion of galaxies moving in all directions from an early stage point. But why did this happen? And was there a time period prior to this blazingly fast start? According to the idea of massive expansion there was, without a doubt, a time before. And it lacked any semblance of order. Before the Big Bang, the universe may have been in a cold, empty, and unorganized state, basically resembling a massive vacuum. However, this vacuum was not entirely empty. It contained a gigantic amount of energy that fueled the rapid expansion of space itself. This phenomenon called inflation happened so quickly that it laid the groundwork for everything that would follow. A part of space expanding at unfathomable rates until the growth slowed, transforming energy into particles of matter and the forces we now observe as the Big Bang. But what kind of energy was it? What purpose did it serve? Why did the universe suddenly expand? And what made it stop? Specialists believe that this immense expansion created patches of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. A fabric stretching out endlessly, with minuscule bubbles forming. Each bubble represented a universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests there are possibly limitless Big Bangs and countless universes like ours, just one of many in this enormously perplexing reality. It challenges our perception of the universe itself and leaves us with the lingering inquiry. What else is there? The concept of nothingness, before the Big Bang is speculative and not grounded in observable reality. As per our current understanding, even if you stripped away all energy, particles, and radiation from the universe, it would still not be truly empty. Darkness fills the void in our universe, but matter, quantum fields, and dark energy persist. These factors result in a universe that is, even in its emptiest form, embroidered with something. Even if we imagine stripping away all forces to create a true vacuum, the universe would still generate new forms of energy. This bewildering reality suggests that true nothingness might be impossible. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine constructing a region devoid of all particles or radiation. Quantum fields and physical constants would still exist, implying that even in this non-existence, properties such as zero-point energy, the lowest energy state of a quantum field, would remain. In this state, 
particles can still appear and disappear briefly, creating a ghostly resonance of movement even in what we assume to be empty space. This challenges our very idea of a real void and suggests that, indeed, something may have existed prior to the Big Bang, something scientists are only beginning to comprehend. One of the most amazing cosmological theories currently explored is the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation could create our universe, then perhaps it could continue forever. Brian Cox describes astonishingly high levels of inflation in a multiverse where universes are infinitely created and constantly expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a flash that lights another universe, while inflation continues elsewhere, sparking countless more universes. This cycle could, theoretically, continue indefinitely. This idea of infinite universes gives birth to the concept of a fractal cosmos, where each universe might spawn its own Big Bang. Each universe becomes its own entity, an independent domain unaffected by the others, due to the rapid expansion of space. This hypothesis is both exhilarating and haunting, as it suggests a multiverse with no beginning or end. Our universe may be just one speck in a vast cosmic web, forever expanding and continuously giving rise to new universes. And what if the most disturbing reality is this? There is no before or after, only an endless pattern of universe formation and decay. This brings us to quantum field theory, which reveals that the universe is not merely a collection of space-traveling matter, but a complex network of energy fields that connect everything. These fields are like invisible seas, with waves or particles, acting within them. Even when these fields are at their lowest energy level, called the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can form and vanish briefly, acquiring energy and then returning it. These fleeting appearances, called virtual particles, cast doubt on the notion of a real, empty void. Imagine a universe devoid of radiation and energy. Would it be nothing at all? According to quantum field theory, no, it wouldn't. Fields remain active, sometimes generating transient particles. This constant motion in what should be nothing suggests the universe doesn't even recognize our concept of emptiness. Fields and forces endure, filling the universe with hidden energy that prevents total stillness. And this raises a profound question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, could the universe itself have emerged from this void? Dark energy, a mysterious force that currently drives our universe's rapid expansion, may have existed even before the Big Bang. Some perspectives suggest that dark energy, as we know it today, is a leftover field from that primordial era. The universe's development of dark energy's properties seems to point to a huge secret, a force that might have existed prior to the Big Bang. According to some hypotheses, dark energy in a much stronger state could have controlled the inflationary phase, resulting in rapid expansion. Dark energy's presence hints at the fact that, regardless of whether our universe were exhausted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to expand the fabric of spacetime. A troubling question emerges from this thought. If dark energy existed prior to the Big Bang and may have formed the factors that contributed to the birth of our universe, could dark energy be the silent architect of inflation, or even the true beginning of our universe? As we investigate this possibility, we face the potential of dark energy as more than just a force shaping our universe, but as a key that could provide access to the multiverse itself. Yet another theory offers a replacement for the Big Bang as the ultimate beginning. Cyclic Cosmology the concept of cyclic cosmology holds that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, resurrection and death. In this model, the Big Bang is not a single event but rather a component of a timeless rhythm in which universes expand, collapse, and then regenerate in another cycle. According to the cyclic universe theory, it's possible that our universe was reborn from the relics of an earlier universe. The process of expanding and contracting in a cyclical pattern would indicate that there was never a true beginning, but rather an eternal series of universes emerging, advancing, and renewing themselves over and over again. Cyclic cosmology raises significant questions about time, as it suggests that time itself might be cyclical as opposed to linear. If this theory is true, it could imply that what existed before the Big Bang was just a different universe one that collapsed, resulting in the birth of our currently available universe. This theory offers a rich answer to the question of where it all came from, 
suggesting that there is no distinct beginning. The universe has always existed in some form, transcending our ideas of time and existence. Another intriguing concept involves gravitational waves. These could provide clues to what previously existed. The gravitational waves from the Big Bang are ripples in spacetime caused by massive cosmological events. If early-stage gravitational waves are ever detected, they could reveal new understandings of the universe's earliest times. These waves might be the reverberations of the previous Big Bang. Should they be identified, they could provide evidence of the universe's previous cycles. The discovery of gravitational waves in their early stages is one of the most intriguing opportunities in cosmology today, as it might not only expose the truth regarding the Big Bang but also offer a glimpse into the cosmic state before our universe was born. This theory offers a tantalizing prospect, detecting gravitational waves that could serve as evidence of a time before the Big Bang. As we keep looking into what could have existed before the Big Bang, we investigate ideas that push the boundaries of our understanding, putting even our most fundamental assumptions about space-time and existence at risk. One of the most mind-boggling ideas comes from the realm of quantum gravity, which aims to merge quantum mechanics with general relativity. This merger could potentially expose a single theory for everything and provide insight into what existed prior to the Big Bang. Quantum gravity suggests that space and time are not smooth, continuous entities as we experience them, but instead are discrete, granular structures. According to this theory, the fabric of space-time itself could have originated from a structure on the microscopic Planck scale, with tiny quantum fluctuations shaping the universe in ways we do not yet comprehend. In this view, what we perceive as the smooth continuum of space and time might have only emerged from these fluctuating quantum fields. Thus, what existed before the Big Bang could be described by a radically different concept of reality, one in which time and space themselves were not fully formed. Another possibility is that the universe is part of a vast cosmic terrain of possibilities. Universes, each with different physical rules and constants. This theory is called the string landscape. String theory holds that all fundamental particles are actually tiny strings that vibrate. Within this framework, there are numerous configuration options. Each of these strings represents a different set of physical laws. The string landscape could imply that our universe is just one of many, each emerging from a distinct Big Bang-like event. The existence of such a landscape also suggests the idea that other universes might exist with different dimensions, different strengths of gravity, or even various kinds of matter. In this view, our universe might not be unique, but rather a part of a collection of universes called the multiverse, each independently developing. The multiverse theory provides a speculative yet fascinating answer to the question of what transpired prior to the Big Bang. In a conceivably different configuration, infinite cycles of creation and devastation could occur with no clear origin. Some theoretical physicists have also considered the role of black holes in determining the universe's nature. One hypothesis gaining attention is that our universe could be the result of a black hole that developed in a different universe. In this scenario, the singularity at the center of a black hole might be a way into a different universe, following the Big Bang being the moment when such a black hole created our universe. This hypothesis is bolstered by the fact that, in accordance with general relativity, the singularity at a black hole center is a point where space and time curve infinitely, creating a region where the known laws of physics fail. The extreme conditions inside black holes could lead to the creation of new universes, which may suggest that what we consider the Big Bang was merely the birth of our universe from the singularity of an ancient black hole. Exploring these concepts necessitates a thorough investigation of time itself and its very nature. Some cosmologists believe that time as we recognize it might not have meant anything prior to the Big Bang. If the Big Bang was the beginning of time, then there may have been no before in any standard sense. This point of view suggests that time itself might have emerged from a quantum fluctuation or from a primordial state where the common distinctions between past, present, and future did not exist. This could cause us to reconsider the idea of causality, which is predicated on the idea that events take place in a straight line. If time did not exist in the way we experience it, then the question of what came before the Big Bang becomes absurd, because there wouldn't be any temporal framework to support it. As mentioned previously, theories of cyclic time, such as cyclic cosmology, suggest that the universe goes through endless cycles of birth, development, and eventually death. In this model, 
The Big Bang might represent merely the most recent swing in an endless series of universe cycles. These cycles might not be identical but could change in various directions, each cycle with unique physical properties. According to this theory, the universe would be an ongoing process without a genuine beginning or conclusion, rendering the question regarding. Another avenue of investigation into the potential of the cosmos lies in its nature as a primordial liquid of bits and particles prior to the formation of stars and galaxies. This concept suggests that the universe existed long before its rapid growth and was characterized by a dense, scalding mix of elementary particles such as leptons and quarks, all bursting with energy. These granular particles would have interacted at extremely high temperatures and densities, laying the groundwork for the formation of matter and energy. Based on this theory, this primordial soup existed in a quantum foam where particles constantly appeared and disappeared because of the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. The properties of this soup could possibly provide insights into the beginnings of the universe, and by extension the universe before the Big Bang itself. Ultimately, what existed before the Big Bang is still among the most profound mysteries in science. As our understanding of quantum mechanics, physics, and cosmology expands at its most fundamental levels, new hypotheses will continue to emerge, with increasingly intricate and sometimes paradoxical explanations for the origins of our universe. While we may never fully grasp what came before the Big Bang, the search for this information will continue to push the boundaries of human curiosity, driving us to explore the unknown frontiers of existence.